Okay, let's talk about how to graph a line using the y equals mx plus b formula. So y equals mx plus b, you'll see this everywhere in an algebra course, but what does it really mean? Well, technically, this is a formula. It's called the slope-intercept formula, and this m right here is the slope of a line, and this b right here represents the y-intercept of a line, and you can use this information to graph a line or a linear equation. This is an absolute uh, critical um, skill that you need to master in algebra. So if you've been confused about y equals mx plus b. Stick around for a couple minutes. You're going to learn exactly how this works. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've come to the conclusion that anyone out there can be successful in mathematics. Okay, Everyone can do well in math, but it requires two things. One, you got to be willing to do the work. And the second thing is you need great math instruction, and that's where I can help you out. My teaching style really try to break things down in super clear and an understandable ways. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the uh, description of this video. Check it out because I'm pretty sure I can definitely help you out. Also, if you happen to be uh, preparing for any sort of test with a math section, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, maybe a teacher certification exam or ASVAB. I have a large library of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have comprehensive middle and high school math courses that you may want to check out. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. All right, so let's get into y equals mx plus b or the slope-intercept form of a line. Super important in algebra. And the whole um, kind of purpose of this video is just quickly uh, a quick review of how to graph a line or a linear equation when it's in y equals mx plus b form or slope-intercept form. So we're going to take a look at this um, uh, equation right here as an example for this video. So here we have y is equal to one half x plus three. If you think you know how to graph this, just go ahead and take a piece of paper out real quick. It'll take you all of about 15 seconds to sketch this out. And what we're talking about when you're graphing a line is really just make a, a nice, you know, um, uh, accurate sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, uh, uh, fairly representative of what you would have. You don't need graph paper. Just try to be nice and neat. So. Anyways, that's what we're going to be doing here in this video. Now, let's take a look at this equation. Y is equal to 1 half X plus 3. The technical name for this is what we call a linear equation. This is an equation where graphically, um, its graphical representation is a line, i.e. a linear equation. So when we have a linear equation and there's a Y all by itself right there, Okay, you can see that this is going to match up to y equals mx plus b. So we have to have a y all by itself in this equation equal, okay, just like this, y equals mx plus b. Now here you have this variable x and you have a number in front of it. That number is the m. Okay, so you can see we have an x and this m represents the number in front of the x. That is the slope of the line, okay? A, a basically, the slope of the line is a fraction that tells us how uh, steep you know, what is the slope or angle of the line. So that's the M here. And you can see in this particular um, example, the M or the slope is one half. And then the B is something called the Y intercept. In this particular problem, it is three. And the Y intercept is the point that the line crosses the Y axis. You're gonna see exactly how this works here in just one second, but this is the information that we can easily get when a line is written in y equals mx plus b form, you can easily see the slope and uh, the y-intercept. So in this particular example, again, the slope is 1 half and the y-intercept is 3. And that's all the information we need to actually sketch this uh, line. Okay, so what is going to be the steps? Well, here are the steps we need to take to graph a line in y equals mx plus b form or slope-intercept form. So the first thing we need to do is plot the y-intercept. So we're going to uh, concentrate our focus on this number. That is the y-intercept. So we're going to plot one point that's on the line by using this information. This is super easy, by the way, so don't be intimidated by uh, these steps. But that's going to be our first step. We're going to plot our y-intercept point. Okay, so that's going to be step number one. Step number two is going to be, we're going to use the m value, the slope, okay? 
basically as a kind of like driving directions as a direction to get to the second point that's on the line. So we're going to use the slope to plot the, a second point that's on the line. So if we have one point that's on a line and another point on the line, we could plot two points. Then our last step is just we're going to uh, simply sketch the line by drawing a line that goes through these two points. And that's how you graph a line uh, that is in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually do this. But uh, before we actually sketch this, let's talk about using the slope uh, here. Uh, when we plot the y-intercept using the slope to get to our second point, this is typically the point or the part of the steps that confuses most people. So let's take a look at the slope one-half. So what is the slope? Well, the slope, again, is the angle of the line. But technically, it's a fraction that represents the rise over the run of a line. So in this uh, particular example, m is equal to one-half. So the rise is 1 and the run is 2. But what does that mean? Well, uh, let's take a look at a line like so, like right here. Okay. Well, we can kind of think of this line as a certain run. Okay, This is the run of the line. And if the uh, line is kind of running out right here, it's also rising a little bit like so. So the run and the rise is a fraction that basically, if we, we kind of uh, draw a line from the beginning of the run to the end of the rise, you can kind of see right here that this is how we kind of describe the angle or the steepness of a line, okay? Uh, again, this is just kind of quick uh, explanation of this. Really, I can kind of go into more detail on this, but what you need to know is how do we use the slope to get to that second point? So let's take a look at um, the fraction or the slope m is equal to positive one-half. So here's what you're going to do. When you have a slope that's positive, okay, for in this case, this is a positive fraction, okay, it's not negative. In this case, you can see down here we have a negative fraction, negative one-half. We'll talk about that in a second. But when the slope is positive, what you're going to do is it's always going to be this way. It's going to be up and to the right. This is going to be your rise, okay, right here, and to the right is going to be your run amount. So you can see our run is 2, our rise is 1. So when you have a slope of 1 half, it's going to rise 1 and run 2. The thing that I want you to remember here is that the run of a line is always, always, always to the right. It's always to the right. Okay. So if you remember that, okay, remote, the run is the denominator part of the slope, then you're going to be just fine. Now let's take a look at what happens when you have a negative slope. Okay, like negative one-half. Well, the run is always going to be to the right, but in this case, the rise is going to be down. So it's going to be like negative one, and then uh, it's going to run out two. So if I have a slope, negative one-half, I'm going to go down one, okay, and then over two. Okay, that's a negative one-half. If I have a positive one-half, I'm going to go up one, okay, and then over two. Just remember, the run is always to the right. All right, so now let's go ahead and put this all together and actually graph this line right here. So we have y equals 1 half x plus 3. This line, let's just first observe, it is in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, we have y equals, so we're thinking y equals mx plus b. Okay, there's no number in front of the y. So we're like, okay, this matches this format. The slope, m, is 1 half, and our y-intercept is 3. All right, so the first step is we're going to graph the y-intercept. That's the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So here is the y-axis right there. So the, uh, this line is going to intersect the y-axis at 3. So let's just go to 3 on the y-axis. That's 1, 2, 3. Let's plot a point. There you go, right there. That is our first point that's on the line. It's as simple as that. I told you this wasn't going to be difficult. So plotting the y-intercept uh, is very, very easy. Now, once we've done that, we're going to use the slope to get to the second uh, point, starting from the y-intercept. So again, our slope here is 1 half. So that means we're going to rise 1. We're going to go up 1 and over 2 to get to our second point. It's kind of like driving directions. So we're going to start from this 3. Okay, you start from the y-intercept. We're going to go up 1, so that brings us at 4, and then we're going to go over 2, 1, 2. 
Okay, so this point right here is the point uh, two four. Okay, it's at, it's x coordinate is two one two, and then we went up four because we're at three here with the y-intercept. This point actually technically is let's go ahead and write it right here zero three. Okay, so it's three only on the y-axis, zero on the x-axis here. We went over two and uh, up four. Okay, again, let's just focus in on this slope. We go up one and over two. Okay, starting from the y-intercept. So we went up one and over two to get to our second point. So this is one point that's on the line. This is another point that's on the line. Now we simply go ahead and draw a lovely line, just sketch a line that goes through these two points, and that is our line or linear equation for y equals one half x plus three. And if you really want to be fancy, you can just go ahead and uh, put in your equation like this, y equals one half x plus three, and uh, there you go. That's how you graph this particular line. Let me just kind of make this a little bit better. You uh, Using the slope intercept form. Now there's other forms that um, a linear equation can be written in, but knowing how to graph a line in y equals mx plus b is probably the most common form that you'll see in algebra. You absolutely need to know how to do this. And if you already knew how to do this, I'm, oh, I must go ahead and give you a nice, lovely, little happy face, an A plus, 100% for being such an awesome algebra student. But here's the deal. This is a pretty easy problem, okay? Even if you know how to do this, it's worth your while to practice and review. Remember, math is a skill, and there's a lot of moving parts to um, algebra or any mathematics. And if uh, you don't practice this stuff enough, you're going to not remember it, okay? And another thing is watching me do math is not the same thing as you learning it, okay? You have to be able to do these problems on your own, so make sure you follow through. So uh, a couple of suggestions. One, if you are still confused, I have tons of videos on this in my uh, pre-algebra and algebra playlist on my YouTube channel, but uh, even more thoroughly, I really, really teach this stuff in any one of my algebra courses, starting from pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, college algebra, whatever the case is. Even some of you might uh, be in pre-calculus. Of course, I have that course as well. Um, so whatever level of math you're at, I review this generally in all of my math courses. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.